facing more challenges to recruiting than ever, the Navy is making it easier for Americans to enlist. How are people responding to this uh, during such a consequential time? The Navy says the standards aren't being lowered, but there are some questions about how the newest requirements could impact military readiness. Joe Khalil is in Washington with the very latest. Hey, Joe. Hey, good morning, Mark. Yeah, so it does seem as though the Navy is, at least academically speaking, lowering its standards, saying that now new recruits no longer need to have a high school diploma or a GED, but rather they just need to score 50 on what's known as the Armed Services Qualification Exam. You score 50, and academically speaking, you are in. Now, this announcement came on Friday. The Navy insists, however, they're not lowering their standards with these new changes, telling News Nation in a statement when we reached out that, quote, this policy update benefits the Navy by expanding the potential applicant pool of highly qualified and motivated future sailors who may have been impacted by COVID-19 trends of non-traditional schooling, early exit from high school to support their family, or a variety of other individual circumstances, but the Navy has not lowered its standards. Now, last night, our team spoke with a retired Navy sailor, Kenton Cunega, who spent four years as an enlisted man, and he says he was really surprised to hear about the new policy change. If you have not graduated from high school, that's usually indicative of the fact that you are, you had some stress in your life and had to quit, but I'm guessing more likely um, is because you had discipline issues or you're you know, you're, you, there are re, you, there's no reason for you not to get to that level of education unless you're, you got problems. So lowering standards to allow those people in the service, uh, you know, may be creating problems of its own. So varying opinions there. Now, Marky, they are facing a historic shortfall when it comes to their own recruiting. Last year, the Navy enlisted 30,000 more people, but their goal was 37,000, so falling well short. And this year, their goal is to bring in 40,000 new people. So they're hoping that this new standard allows them to do that. They expect that just by this policy change, that should account for anywhere from 500 to 2,000 additional enlistees in the Navy. We'll see how that goes. And we should mention this is the only branch, at least right now, that is doing this. Marky. Yeah, they are in dire need to appeal to more Americans. We'll see if this does the trick. Joe Khalil, thanks so much. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.